Okay, why it's important to not just freak out when stuff happens, to wait a little bit, keep your mouth shut, and come up with an answer. So I have a property in North Carolina that's just recently, my tenants who are amazing, um, it's, a, it's a big, huge property. It's on 30 acres, 6,000 square foot house. There's a second house behind it. And my tenants take care of living in the, the main home, but we Airbnb out the mother-in-law suite, and then we're working on getting the second house in the back ready to be a, another Airbnb as well. Um, but anyway, they had to tell me abruptly that they had a need to move. And instead of me calling my investor partners and just like, oh crap, what are we gonna do and panicking? Because you know we got short notice about this change. Um, I, I always just wait just to see. And sure enough, all of a sudden my tenants sent me amazing pictures of the home. They cleaned it all up and took pictures with their furniture in it so that I could then use it to release the property uh, to help advertise. Uh, and so I was like, okay, that's great. That helped a little bit. And I was getting ready to tell my partners about this change. And then all of a sudden they came aboard and they said, hey, we actually found an amazing family that you know we know personally that would love to take over the property when we leave. Would you like to talk to them? So my point in telling this story is just a lot of times we react to things very quickly. But if we just wait a little bit, I don't know if I'm going to rent to these tenants but solutions are starting to present themselves where now I can go to my, my partners and say, hey, we are losing our tenants. However, we've got an option here to be able to rent to these other people. Let's look at it. There's already kind of a solution in play that may in fact work. If it comes up that we do something different, that's fine too. But that's a whole lot better conversation than, oh crap, we're losing our tenants. What are we gonna do? And then five minutes later, oh, they sent us a picture. And then five minutes later, oh, we're, you know, and we create this anxiety that might not have been necessary. If we just shut up and wait a little bit, things will kind of improve on their own.